Hello and welcome back to day number 24 of our 30 day yoga challenge. We are almost there. Thank you for being a part of this practice. Uh, for today's practice, we don't really need too much. Feel free if you'd like to grab your strap or your block, you can definitely bring it into the practice. And let's get started for day number 24. All right, for today's practice, the mantra is a good one and I really wanna get right into it because this one is one that we might need to say to ourselves multiple times throughout the day, not even just for today's mantra, but as we go throughout our lives in general. So today's mantra is I am grounded and present. And there's something about being grounded, being here, being in the now, being present, that really, really resonates with me. Because there's so many different times where even me personally, I'm at an event or I'm doing something, but I may be multitasking and doing something else, and I'm not actually here. Or I'm physically here, but my mind might be thinking of something else. And have you ever realized that you don't really get to enjoy whatever it is that you know, you're know you doing because your mind is somewhere else, you're not present. So it's something about being grounded and being present. And I want you to focus on that mantra as we go throughout our challenge today. And this practice is going to be one that you do need to be a little bit present for, that you're going to be grounded. So I want you to use that mantra as you go throughout today's practice because it is going to be very, very much so a part of this practice. So as we begin to ground ourselves and get present in today's practice, come to any comfortable seated posture. Let your body relax down, maybe do a little free form flow with your body, just adjust your body, get yourself ready for your practice. Eliminate any outside distractions that you can help. We can take our hands palms up. Allow your body to just relax here. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, open mouth nice wide, open mouth. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, close mouth. So we're going to go back to our Ujjayi breathing. Yesterday we did our Nadi Shodhana and today we're going to focus on back on our Ujjayi breathing. We're going to take one more cycle of breath as we ground ourselves and become present in the now. Going to take our right ear down into our right shoulder, gently bringing our ear down towards our shoulder, just relaxing our bodies here. Being mindful to still open up through the chest, relax your shoulders. Taking your chin back up to neutral and over to the opposite side. With every breath, just coming, becoming more aware of your body being aware of this space, noticing any sensations within your body. And on your inhale, bring your chin back to neutral. We're gonna take our chin down towards our chest, allowing our shoulders to come down. And on that inhale, taking our chin up towards the ceiling, gently rest the head on the back. And on your exhale, coming back to neutral, we're going to walk ourselves out to a tabletop position. So taking your hands to be right over your shoulders, take your knees, stacking over your hips, untuck your toes, move your body from left to right first. Just inviting some gentle movement into your practice. And then begin to make circles with your hips. We're gonna get our hips nice and open. Continue to breathe. 
I'm gonna take one more revolution around and then we're gonna go the opposite way. And take two more. Just breathing nice and normal and coming to the top. We're gonna tuck our toes underneath, gently pushing back towards our heels, toe stretch here. Bring your hands out in front. So this is how we transition to our toe stretch, but almost a child's pose. We're flexing our toes back towards our bodies, just letting ourselves relax. Relax your forearms and your shoulders. On your inhale, we're gonna bring ourselves forward, push back to our first downward facing dog. You're welcome to paddle your feet out here, moving your body. And then when you're ready, we're gonna shift the weight back towards our heels, press away with our fingertips, take the gaze up the leg, take four breaths. And on that inhale, bring your gaze towards your hands. We're gonna walk our hands to the back of our mat, coming into our forward fold. Relax your head down towards your knees. Invite a small bend into the knee if you need it. Relaxing your head just a little bit closer towards your knees. And on that exhale, we're gonna walk ourselves out towards our top of our mat for a plank. Lower your body down into your plank. Relax your shoulders, wrapping your triceps back. And on that exhale, we're gonna bring our right knee in towards our right ankle, so hug it in. So lift it up nice and high and lower it back down. And then do the same thing on the left. Bring the knee up towards the top of the elbow and bring it back. And then see if you can lift it up just a little bit higher in towards your arm and lower back. Last one, bring it in on the other side and lower back. Push back for a downward facing dog. Continue to breathe. And when you're ready, walking your feet towards the top of your mat this time, coming to your forward fold. Take one more full cycle of breath. We're gonna take our hands and take them underneath of our feet. So place your hands with your palms up and allow your feet to just press into your Hands, giving your feet a little massage here. You can lower your head down, shaking your head from left to right, and yes and no. Again, feel free to invite a small bend into the knee if you need it. And when you're ready, we're gonna bend down, squatting down, feeling that stretch on the back of our, of our lower back and also up in our shoulders. Squat down and then press back up. Arch the spine. So we're gonna do one breath, one movement. So bend down and press up. Bend down again and press back up. And two more, bend down and press back up. Last one, bend and press back up. We're gonna release our hands, come back into a forward fold. And on your inhale, slowly come all the way up to a standing posture, head will come up last. Bring your hands up overhead, 
slight back bend here and on that exhale lower your hands down we're in our mountain pose we're nice and grounded within that mountain pose press into all four corners of your feet and then i'd also like you to grip your toes into the mat that's going to get you nice and settled here within your posture. So bringing your awareness towards the front of your mat. We're setting a dristy point, something that's directly in front of us, allowing us to focus on something that is not moving. And as you begin to breathe, we're going to squat down. So if you have your feet hip distance apart, begin to squat down into the middle. Squatting all the way down, you can take your hands to heart center. Squat your body all the way down. Feel free if you need to invite a little bit of movement to get yourself down, you're welcome to do so. Taking your elbows to the outside of your shins, gently pushing them away. Get nice and settled here. Come over to the side. Very nice. So again, you're focusing on something that's directly in front of you. Allow your body to get comfortable. Lift up through the chest. And on that exhale, we're going to come back up. Bring yourself back up to standing. Relax your shoulders. And come back down. Squat all the way down again. And push back up and squat back down so again you're feeling your body open you're feeling your hips start to open we're going to take our hands down onto the mat so you can take them directly uh, in front of you shoulder distance apart I want you to still wrap your elbows and your back of your arms right in front of your knees and just gently hinge forward so if you want to come up onto the toes and on the ball of your feet, you're going to hinge forward, just inviting some weight on the back of your arms. So we're preparing for crow pose. And this is how you just prepare to kind of get the weight into your hands, shifting that weight, feeling how that feels on the back of your arms. So just shifting your body forward and back, pressing into your fingertips. Just noticing how that feels on the body. And you can lean forward. So again, we're not coming into full crow. You're welcome to do so if you already know crow. If not, we're just going to lean forward here, feeling the expansion of our hips. Lift up through your chest. Your gaze is going to be right down in front of you on your mat. And on that exhale, we're going to shift the weight back into the heels as we come back, bringing our hands back to heart center. And on that exhale, placing your hands down, we're going to come into a forward fold, allowing your head to relax. You can sway your body and your hips from left to right. And we're going to point our toes forward. You're going to bend your knees down with your hands and your arms right over your knees. So bend your knees forward, keeping your elbows and your underarms right within your kneecaps. So if you can keep your knees right underneath the arms, that's perfect. So this is the most ideal posture for our crow pose. And again, we're just building the foundations of our crow. So again, you can take shift the weight into the hands, come up onto the balls of your feet and just shift forward. Just shift the weight forward. Again, this is how we just get ourselves used to our crow pose. Again, we don't have to come into a full crow. If you'd like, you can shift the weight within your hands and maybe lift one foot off the ground and just see how that feels and take it back down and then maybe take the other foot off the ground and come back. And then if you'd like, you can be grounded and nice and present within this posture, taking your knees right underneath of your arms allowing the hands to come down, shifting the weight 
forward, you can lift both feet off of the mat and gently hover for your crow pose. Allowing yourself to lean up and placing your toes back down, come back down, taking your hands to heart center. Take two grounding breaths here. And on that exhale, we're gonna place our hands down, come back into our forward fold, allowing our head to release. Taking two more breaths with our knee towards our nose. And on that inhale, come all the way up. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Our head will come up last. Bring the arms up overhead. Slide back, bend here. And on your exhale, come back down into your mountain pose. We're gonna come to the top of our mat and we're gonna have a seat down on our mat. We're gonna cross our legs, one on top of the other. Just allow your body to sit up nice and tall here. And what we're gonna do is grab our foot. So whichever one is on top, feel free to grab it with your knee bent. We're gonna hold on to our foot as we bring the foot in towards our chest. So just be able to hold it here. If you'd like to take this posture a little bit deeper, you can grab underneath and just hold it in. Taking two breaths, remembering to sit up nice and tall, keeping your spine nice and long. And on that exhale, lower your leg down. We're gonna take it all the way down and we're gonna cross the opposite leg on top. So again, readjusting your body, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna grab our foot, bring it up, bring the knee up as well. So holding our foot in towards our chest. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Again, if you'd like to extend the posture, you can bring your hand underneath and gently hold the foot up. Now again, remembering if your body starts to sway, sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. And on your exhale, lower your foot back down. We're gonna to begin to move our body into a circle. Just working out all the snap, crackle, pops. And pause and go the opposite way with your circles. And coming back to center. Just let your body get nice and comfortable here. And when you're ready, we're gonna transition onto our back. So bring your feet up towards the top of your mat, tuck your tailbone under, and we'll transition all the way down onto our back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give your body a rock from left to right. I want you to take your hands up towards the sky as you press like you're holding the, the ceiling up. And I want you to bring your knees right underneath. So again, this is our same posture that we did within our crow pose. Just really getting our knees tucked in towards our, under our arms. You're engaging your core. And on that exhale, we're gonna hug the knees back into the chest, giving it a rock from left to right. And when you're ready, we're gonna place both feet down on the ground, knees bent. Readjust your body, your toes are gonna to point forward. We're gonna cross one leg over the other. Nice wide figure four cross here, pushing our knee away. We're coming into our revolved pigeon. I want you to hug your knee into the chest, hugging that knee in, threading your hands behind your thigh. 
So hug it in, flex the front toe. Hug your knee in, relax your shoulders. If you'd like to deepen this stretch, you're welcome to take your hands to the top of your shin and hug your hands in and your knee towards your chest just a little bit deeper. Continue to breathe, lifting your hips off of the mat. And again, if you'd like to just extend this stretch a little bit more, you can take the hands back behind the thigh and flex the foot, straighten that leg, flex your foot down towards your body. Maybe you'd like to hold on to the top of the leg as well. You can hold on here, flexing your leg back down, hugging it in just a little bit deeper. And on your exhale, put a bend back into the knee, place the knee back onto the mat, uncross your leg, give your knees a rock from left to right. And when you're ready, we're gonna cross the opposite leg over, flexing our toe back, wide figure four cross here. Hugging our knee into our chest, threading our hands behind our thigh, hugging it in. Relax your shoulders, unclench your jaw. Again, you're welcome to hold the top of your shin as well, flexing your toe, just to get a little bit of a deeper stretch. Remembering to release your shoulders in whatever posture you're in. Allowing the breath to keep you grounded and present within your practice. You can straighten your leg if you'd like. And you can hold on to it any way that feels comfortable. Flexing your toe down towards your body. Take two more breaths wherever you are. And when you're ready, we're gonna release, put a bend back into the knee, set it back down, uncross, give your knees a rock from left to right. Bringing our knees back up to stillness, we're gonna do a regular cross, so a tight cross of our legs, and then let your legs fall over to the side. So whatever way you cross, let it fall over in that position. You can take your hands out to a T, Bring your gaze away from your knees. So we're letting the stretch of our bent knee just carry that weight down, really opening up our lower back and our hip. Take a moment to breathe and feel that stretch. Taking two more breaths. And on that inhale, bringing both knees back up to the center. We're gonna uncross our legs, give it a little rock, and then we'll cross over to the opposite side. So cross your legs over, and then let them fall over to the opposite side. Taking your gaze away from your knees, allowing your body to surrender, and completely open up within this posture here. Just allow yourself to be present. If there's any moments that your body and your mind may start to drift off the mat, come back to the mantra. I am grounded and present. Take one more cycle of breath. And on your inhale, bring it back up to center, engaging your core. Uncross your knees, give it a rock and hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock ourselves from left to right, massaging out our lower back. Bringing our feet up towards the ceiling, flexing our toes. 
We're going to place our hands down, palms down, right beside our hips. We're going to lower our legs and let it hover. And then bring it back up. Lowering our legs down, letting it hover to your comfort level. Engage your core and take it back up. And then one more time, let it hover. Engage your core wherever you are. Really feel that in your core. And on the exhale, lower the legs all the way down. We're gonna bring the arms up overhead. Feel a stretch within the body. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Move your ankles around in a circle. And when you're ready, we're going to take our hands down into the mat. Palms will be up. Relax your body. Come back to your breath. Allow your body to just notice any different sensations. Allow your body to be in contact with the mat as much as possible. We're gonna to begin to relieve tension, starting at the crown of our head, unclenching our jaw, letting our shoulders melt away into the mat, releasing the tension from our hips and our knees, letting our toes be nice and relaxed on the mat. We're coming back to our breath, Letting our body soften. Coming back to our mantra. I am grounded and present. Just let your body relax here. You can say the mantra aloud or to yourself. I am grounded and present. As we take two more breaths in silence, just letting our body surrender into the mat. And when you're ready, we're going to gently invite movement and awareness back into our body, wiggling our fingers and our toes, and then gently hugging our knees into our chest one at a time, rolling over to one side. Cradle your head if you need to. Using your top hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. Taking our hands to heart center. I want you to thank yourself for showing up for you today, completing 24 days. I want you to thank your body for supporting you in the practice. I hope that you are able to stay grounded and present within our practice today. I wish you a great day or evening and I can't wait to practice with you tomorrow. Namaste. All right, we just completed one more day. We're getting closer and closer to finishing our 30 day flow mantra challenge. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey. I can't wait to see you on the mat tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.